what I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the sand right now. I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Jeremy Weiss, I am here live at Retail X. I am with Franz. He is founder of Celix. Franz, tell people what Celix does. Sure. So Celix is a software that helps brands to grow their business on Amazon. Um, we do this by providing Amazon SEO services, Amazon advertising services, competitive insights, inventory management. So everything that you need on a day-to-day basis to be successful on Amazon out of one software. How did you get into this? You hail from Germany. I am from Germany indeed. So we started back in, in uh, 2014 already. So we've been in this business for quite some time. And that was a time when there was really no SEO out there, no Amazon SEO. And uh, so it was a, a friend of mine who was selling on Amazon reached out to me whether I could build a software for him. Why, what were you doing at the time? Are you a software genius? Uh, not me, but I had another company that was focused on, on uh, data um, and data analytics. And so um, as part of this, this friend reached out and he asked whether we, we can support it with uh, Amazon SEO. Um, and so we said sure, and this is uh, you know this is how Celix got started. So what was the first version of Celix? Because I know it's evolved. It has evolved quite a bit, yeah. So the first version was literally a ranking tracking software. So you oh, could yeah. enter a keyword and you could enter a product, and we would track on a daily basis how you know the, this product ranks yeah. for that it's specific a pain keyword. To track that stuff. It is. It is a pain. And so uh, I mean, this friend of mine he was doing this manually. So every day he would look up up to fifty Terrible. keywords and then uh, count on which position he would be ranking. Um, and so um, that, that was the first version, it was literally just this. And very quickly we, we realized that ranking is great, but you don't just want to rank uh, or track something, you also want to optimize your rankings. And so um, we, we added uh, keyword research, we added listing optimization, so a bunch of things that really help you to not just track your rankings, but improve your rankings. Talk about the optimization and keywords. How does it spit out the keywords we should be using? <laughs> it's well, just it's that easy. It's a push button. You sign up, boom, you get top ranking keywords, right? You'd be surprised how okay. easy it is. So essentially, yes, based on the product that you have, we make a bunch of recommendations, right? And obviously, there's a, you know, that's kind of our secret sauce. So I cannot go too much into detail, but essentially... I want all the details. <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous to talk to you. I know. <laughs> So um, yeah. I think uh, w- what I can tell is that we have a database of uh, close to 200 million keywords and all those keywords are Amazon related keywords. So this database is made out of the autocompletes that we have on Amazon. Mm, cool. um, and so we all the recommendations that we made are specifically recommendations for Amazon. We, we don't have any, uh, you know, we don't have a Google keyword base or anything, but it's just Amazon. And so out of this keyword base, we have some smart algorithms that make suggestions based on the product. That's cool. So like if... It, for instance, if I was typing in dog and I typed in L, it would show up like dog leashes and you guys have some kind of algorithm that will pull in a lot of these keywords. Yes, but not, not just extensions, um, but also synonyms of, uh, of dog leashes, oh, right? Nice. So uh, my English vocabulary is not sufficient to give a, a proper synonym That's for perfect. dog leashes, but um, you, don't you, get, <laughs> you get a lot of combinations and, and also synonyms of this. So it's not just the extension. So what other features do you have on the software? So one of the very popular features these days is Amazon advertising. So we help you to manage and automate your campaigns on Amazon. Um, I'm sure you followed this uh, this this growth of Amazon advertising. Yeah. Um, and so Celix is actually one of the largest advertising software providers worldwide. Mm. Um, and so we help our clients to set up campaigns, uh, to analyze campaigns, but more specifically also to automate campaign management because it's just very time consuming and, and, and very painful to constantly check your bids and increase bids, lower bids in office. And so we take care of this uh, for you. And uh, um, essentially, instead of logging in every day to manage your campaigns, you can log in every week or every second week to just check the results and fine tune a little bit. But uh, we do the heavy lifting for you. So what are the biggest mistakes you find sellers making? Oh, specifically with regards to advertising or yeah, in general? advertising or optimization. Um, I think the overall, on, on a very high level, the biggest mistake I think is that people don't allocate enough resources to Amazon. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very surprised to see that uh, you know, sp- people spend crazy amounts of of money, but also of, of, of people and time 
on building their own shop and, and their own system around their shop. Um, and then the shop is generating 20% or so of the of, overall revenue. And then you have Amazon generating 40, 50%. And then you have one person doing this part time and, uh, you know, with essentially no, no support, no software. And so I think on the highest level, that's the biggest mistake, right? Um, now, if you ask me for the more operational mistakes when it comes to the advertising, I think the probably the biggest mistake or well here's a, here's a very easy one right um people are reluctant to stop keywords that are not working why so because they they, they are they hope that you know eventually it will work um and they they are scared that if they if they pause a keyword then it's it's gone forever it's like a fear of missing out it is a f it is exactly this it is a fear of missing out and amazon advertising yes so how long should someone wait until they shut it off like how much data should they be pulling in before they decide to pull the cord yeah so i mean uh, ideally um this is a this is depends on your conversion rate so the higher your conversion rate the less clicks you should wait but so i think most importantly you should not wait a certain time frame you should wait for a certain number of clicks to happen um, and so as a rule of thumb, I would say something around 15 to, to 30 clicks. And then if no sale happens in, in 30 clicks, then you're pretty safe that this is not a good keyword and you can, you can pause it or set it to negative. What is something that most people don't know that you know because you're kind of deep into the Amazon advertising? I know we've had in-depth conversation with negative keywords yeah. or other things. What are some things that people should know that maybe they're not doing? Um, that is a, an interesting question. So, I think um, so. Amazon recently released a new feature which allows you to analyze performance of ads on the placement level. Um, so you have three placements: you have top of page, product detail page, and rest of page. And so um, we we looked into the data on a very large scale. And so the the finding that we had is that. Um, there are significant differences in, in clicks and also conversion rate depending on the placement. Now, not surprisingly, top of page actually has a has the highest conversion rate. But what we were surprised to see is by how much it was actually better than for the other placements. Um, so it is somewhat uh, counterintuitive because those are the most expensive placements. But relative to the conversion rate, they're actually the cheapest ones. Really? So you actually get the best uh, return on ad spend at the top of page. Uh, relative to all the other ones, even though the, the cost per clicks are the highest one also for, for top of page. So um, it's a bit counterintuitive to, to bid the most, but you get the most in return. Yeah, so I think it's um, all about the return. Eventually, it's about the return. It doesn't matter how much it costs, right? It, it matters how much you get back uh, for that cost. And, and so on top of page, you get more return for, for yeah. the invest. Yeah, I was talking to one person who uh, runs ads uh, and uses whatever uh, various tools and he said, well, how much would you spend on advertising? I go, as much as you humanly want to spend, as long as you're getting a return, I'm not going to put a budget on that, right? Um, so what do you find is, um, uh, as far as the future of Amazon e-commerce, what are you seeing trends that people should look out for? So, I mean, I think um, the, the biggest trend that I see is that uh, there is a, a, a consolidation around a small number of high volume platforms. So if you think about, you know, five or 10 years ago, you had this big trend of going multi-channel. So everyone was using software to cover as many channels as possible. Um, and so the trend that we see now is that this is you know, getting reduced to a handful of meaningful channels. Obviously, Amazon clearly number one, but then also eBay, Walmart, Target, and so it's you, know, you have a, a, a small number of very relevant relevant channels. So I think that this is um, this is a big trend that I see in, in the next five years in e-commerce, um, where it is not so much about being present on all the channels, but it's about being very present on a few number of, of channels. Yeah, it's uh, like an 80-20. It is 80-20, absolutely. And then I think um, when you think about how do you invest your time, um, then I think well, in the past it made a lot of sense to, in, to invest your time thinking about how can you be present on all those channels. Now you should spend your time thinking on you know those one, two, three, four channels and how you can go very deep in those channels and really get the most out of it. Because those channels are getting a lot more complex. So if we take Amazon for, for as an example, um, Amazon you know, five, six, seven years ago was essentially a sales channel. You upload your products and you sell, right? And you wait for money to come in essentially. And what happened now over the last years is that Amazon has evolved into a marketing channel as well. So suddenly all the complexities that you had around AdWords and, and social media marketing and all of this, all of those complexities are now on Amazon, um, which on one side makes it more complex, but on the other side also increases opportunity because you can reach a lot more people and you can do a lot more than just uploading your products. So. Um, 
I think that this is really just, you know, less channels, but invest more in those channels because those channels are getting more complex. I think that this is overall the big trend that I see in the next uh, next couple of years. So one last question, Franz. Um, you know, when what you were saying on that is very interesting, um, but what's been the, the proudest moment with Selleck so far? A proud milestone. A proud milestone. Um, you mean overall in the yeah, company overall history? The company, yeah. I think uh, so. Obviously, as we're based out of Europe, uh, opening up the U.S. office was a was a very proud moment for us. Uh, so we have an office in New York now, where we have uh, you know a bit more than 10 people at this point, um, and so that was certainly a, a big moment for us. Thank you. Live from Retail X, check out Celex.com.